We did have another question in here too uh, that I wanted to hit. Uh, Win32 apps auto update and supersedence, is that working as expected? Um, so they've had a, a lot of gaps removing versus updating criteria in supersedence. I would say in my experience, like pushing patch my PC updates, for example, have been fantastic through Intune. Um, but I don't know if anybody else has had any challenges with the supersedence in, in Intune. It's been working fairly well for me. Yeah, but some, something you will see if, if um, for example, Patch My PC was mentioned, they, for those of you who haven't seen, um, they, they do have a, a publisher. I think I have it installed on one of my lab servers here. where you can very easily select the apps you want to have created packages for or apps for in Intune, and also which applications to actually update automatically. And they have like an entire team working on creating good detection methods and requirement rules and all of that for those applications. Uh, Microsoft is starting to do something similar. Um, if you go into uh, regular Intune tenant, where you have bought that service, the enterprise app catalog, and, and you add in applications, there's gonna be a, a list option here in the bottom uh, called the enterprise app catalog, uh, this one here. Uh, and when you select that one and, and start to create your research for applications or whatever they are, uh, um, 7-zip as good as any, uh, they also take care of creating well-tested, um, you know, uh, requirement rules, etc. Because they can be really hard to figure out, and they usually have more than one. They usually have like two, three, four of them, just to make sure they really cover all scenarios a superseded app can fall into. So you can definitely use this for good inspiration as well to see what they create. Uh, the Patch My PC scripts are fantastic. They're just incredibly hard to read because they make them small on purpose. Do you guys know why they were small on purpose? Yeah, indeed. That there was a time where, where even Intune itself just would refuse to download a policy if it became too big. Thankfully, that those are, 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 are being fixed or addressed, but it was like, all right, we need to keep them small and, and effective. And so that's what they did. So they are that. They're just challenging to read if you try to figure out what they do. But heck, if you put your heart into it, there's a lot to be learned from that. Uh, I'm so, biased, but it's good stuff. I, I mean, I tell everybody, like, there's, there's no reason not to go with Patch by PC. It's they're phenomenal. Um, so uh, Andrew Jimenez works for Patch by PC, um, and he's got in his GitHub repo. And I'm trying to find. I think it's under his toolbox or something. Um, uh, he's got a tool that you can run on a local uh, device that will dump out. So it's PowerShell, MSI, ARP. No, that's not the right one. Uh, get installed software info, and it will um, it will spit out all of the uninstall keys for all the installed apps on your device. What's the and name so, of the gentleman? Uh, it's Andrew Jimenez. Um, Isn't that the registry? Do you have that thing? Yeah, he's reading it out of the registry, but it also is for things like executables that have a weird, a different, like a non MSI the, command line and stuff. Uh, it's, I don't know the answer to that one. Um, Which repo so did you say? It's that's that's his user ID yeah, yeah. right there. It's under toolbox or his miscellaneous tools. Oh, okay. yeah, miscellaneous yeah, tools. Uh -huh. Get installed software info. Do you have it up there? I'm about to. Oh no no sorry it's app app basic detection script sorry that's the different one. 
basic app detection script. All right, let's see if there I can go. switch over the screen to you, sir. Because I think uh, I'm no, still I'm sharing sure. the right yep. the script to create. That's the one? Uh, I think it's the, the second one, the script to create app detection script. So it's if you're going to create a custom detection um, in Intune, this will loop through and get all the installed apps and then let you generate a, a nice, well-formatted detection script so you can make a custom detection instead of, like basically in cases where you can't use the MSI detection or it's an MSI, but then it writes a different reg key type thing and stuff. So, um, so anyway, it came up in the other uh, oh, one cool. of the sessions awesome. earlier this week. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Adam. All right. Any any other questions? Did you just have the chat up? We still also have some in there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is everybody having fun? Because I'm having fun. <laughs> I don't like this. You guys do this every week. Every yeah. week. This might be more fun than me and Steve's sessions. Well, at least we do it at 4.30 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. 10 p.m. on a Friday. Oh, yeah. so here's a follow-up comment, it looked like. More on auto-update and supersedence. Uh, also need to keep uh, assignment on previous on the previous app in order to get better results. Could not see it mentioned anywhere. Um, so if you're not doing it automatically through something like Patch My PC, maybe just some scripting. Um, and to your point, Adam, uh, having the consistent uh, detection method, and I heard that in the back too, uh, good detection methods, good install command line switches, good uninstalls, um, those are gonna be, if you have those intact, hopefully you'll be in, in much better shape. Oh, and the, the other thing I was thinking about when you had the Patch My PC console open was for the updates, um, it, you can click on a scan button and it'll connect to your tenant to your Intune tenant, uh, it, it also do it on the config manager side, but um, it'll look at your installed apps and it will suggest all the updates that uh, for apps that it knows are installed on your devices in your environment. And so it'll help curate a list of updates that you can push. So for example, we don't deploy Firefox on purpose, but people have Firefox installed. Well, if it's installed, we better be patching it. Yeah, so, that's helpful. Yeah. Uh, or, ripping it right off, one or the other, but um, but it's nice to have a tool to kind of help you audit that and and also bring it into compliance to at least keep it secure. Um, kind of back to your point about leaving, like blocking updates, it's like, well, that's kind of silly. Yeah. yeah.